I'm going to talk about a case study as a, as a, as a way to bring it all together. And uh, this case study, uh, the event that started it happened back in March of 2008. Two verticals, advertising verticals. One is, believe it or not, World of Warcraft. How many of you heard of that game? Online multiplayer game, I don't know, how, and, and I don't mean to insult anybody if you play it, but people spend hours and hours and hours in front of their computers playing this virtual game. And in this virtual game, the way you buy weapons and you, you buy shields and spells and whatever else you can buy is using a world of War of Worldcraft gold. And to get this gold, you have to fight dragons, you have to, you have to kill the enemy, and you earn it little by little. Well, in North America, in, in the suburbs of, of New Jersey and Los Angeles, you have very rich, spoiled kids who don't want to have to work to get their gold. So there's an entire market based out of China where Chinese uh, gold farms, if you will, the, there's, there's people playing the game, and all they do is play the game to collect gold. And uh, just, like a, just like a cartel, they move their gold up the chain to a, to a set of brokers. And these brokers then turn around and sell this gold to those spoiled kids in the United States. And at one point, gold was actually worth more than the US dollar. That's how popular this game is and how uh, such high demand for this gold and all the benefits of gaining it are. So you have that vertical, and there's several players, several brokers in that vertical that uh, buy ad space on Bing. The other vertical, and, and I know you can't tell from this graphic, but it's auto insurance. Auto insurance is another uh, vertical that they have a high cost per click because they, uh, they're looking for leads all the time. And, and the reason why is they have a high uh, lifetime value of a customer. So they can grab a customer for auto insurance. They can upsell to homeowner's insurance. They can upsell to uh, person, you know, uh, jewelry insurance, a whole lot of things. So it's really important. They fight tooth and nail over every customer. So in March 2008, all was well for both of these verticals. Then all of a sudden, things went terribly wrong. Clicks started increasing, and their budgets collapsed. And all of these clients, they have budgets. You know, they, uh, maybe it's a million dollars a month for the big auto insurance uh, clients. And uh, typically, they, they, they have expectations that's based on normal behavior, organic, uh, well, easily forecasted behavior that they'll go through that million dollars pretty evenly. Uh, but what happened was, the Clicks start increasing quickly, the budgets collapsed, and then for some of these advertisers, uh, especially in the auto insurance side, their budgets disappeared, they were used up. So what happened is they went dark. And uh, $1.4 million of advertising budget for the auto insurance vertical was gone like that. And just some numbers behind that, for some of these uh, advertisers, there were 1.6 million clicks, made over 48 hours, and all of those were zero real people. These were computers doing all these clicks. We found out. We didn't find out instantly. That was part of the forensic investigation. So how did this happen? Well, you're going to have to wait, because I'm going to talk about uh, the, 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 the price of click fraud. It's alive and well. And a third party company called Click Forensics, which uh, deals specifically in click fraud with their advertisers as their clients, uh, release a report every quarter, and the latest one should be due out any time because it is January for the, for the Q4 and the entire year. But for Q3, what they reported was, uh, just to give you some uh, reference point, in Q3 of 2009, uh, the percentage of all clicks that were fraudulent, they reported as 14.1%. In Q3 of 2010, it rose to 22.3%. So that is a 50% increase in the number of fraudulent clicks in just a year. So clearly, this is a problem. Uh, my beef with the entire uh, search engine marketing industry, uh, when you look at conferences, is click fraud is rarely talked about these days. It was a big topic of conversation back when Yahoo and Google had class action lawsuits in, in the United States uh, filed against them, and everyone wanted to know what these search engines are doing about click fraud. For whatever reason, once they were settled, uh, people moved on to other topics, and granted, they were more important, but what I think happened is, Four years ago, everyone was hyper-focused on cost per click. Now the industry has matured and everyone's focused on the conversion. So when you work with customers, it's not, you don't talk about with end customers. You don't talk about uh, with Joe the plumber about how much his clicks are going to cost. You talk about how many visits to his website he's going to get, 
how many phone calls he's going to get, and what's the cost and the ROI for that. So I think for that reason, click fraud isn't at the forefront. That said, it is costing those end customers uh, higher uh, or lower ROI and higher cost per conversions because this is biting into that, uh, those dollars, those media dollars. So how much revenue is at risk? Uh, there's no concrete numbers, but taking a look at the data out there, we can take some educated guesses. So for annual digital ad revenue for the year, uh, based on taking first half of 2010, extrapolating to second half as being the same, is $24.8 billion. And this includes all digital advertising, social media, display, search, everything. And of all that uh, spend, 47% of it is going to search. Uh, most of that's Google, clearly. Uh, but still, that's uh, almost half of that $24 billion. So if you take a, you saw the last slide, 21% uh, click fraud uh, rate. Now I'm taking, this number you see here is based on a 10% fraud rate. So even with very conservative number, cutting it in the half, and I do that because that number that they report doesn't, it's taken from the advertiser's data. What they don't have insight into is what the search engines themselves do to combat fraud. So for example, if the advertisers see that uh, 20 of their clicks uh, were, were driven by bots, what they don't realize is the, as that Microsoft or Google or Yahoo had already filtered out half of them and, and they weren't being billed with them. Uh, but they wouldn't see that in their log. So let's take half of that as being handled by the search engines. That still leaves $1.4 billion in, in your spend as marketers going to fraud, going to the bad guys. That's a lot of, lot of money. And, and where is this trend coming from? And this is a small, very uh, little graphic. But what I have circled there, that line is the the percentage of buys, of media buys that are based on performance and, and mostly you know, cost per click. And because it's cost per click, there's a lot more opportunity to commit fraud and profit from it than there is with the descending line, which is a CPM model, and the very bottom line, which is nothing, is a hybrid model of some combination of cost per acquisition plus a CPM typically. So it's a problem. It's something that can't be ignored, in, in my humble opinion.